Kisses, kisses, kisses. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Frick. One more time. What's he One doing? One more time, old man. Yo, he's strong. Hey, come on, man. Quit walking in front of my camera. Can't you see I'm trying to film my sick workout and show the world my sick biceps? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you filming for your five followers? Actually, it's 15. <laughs> And a half followers. Why don't you show me some respect, bro? Maybe I would show you some respect if my grandmother didn't curl more than you in her silver sneakers class. And as for your camera, how's this for getting too close? <laughs> You're right, I'm sorry. Now go here, boy. I'm gonna show you a real world. Don't hurt me, I'm sorry. That was strong. That was a very powerful chat. What's up, everybody? What's up? My name is Scott, and you're Hi, watching Scott. Kentucky Ballistics. And today, we're going to talk about kisses. And I'm not talking about Hershey's yeah. kisses. I'm talking about scope kisses, which yeah. are not delicious yeah. at all and are actually yeah. quite painful. So what is a scope kiss? If you are aiming a rifle and you have your scope a little too far back, or maybe you've got your face a little too far forward, the recoil of the gun will give you a kiss. Scope to come back and give you a little kissy wissy on your face. Oh now, yeah, stings. And can cause quite a bit of damage to your face. Today we're mm -hmm. gonna see just how much damage that would cause. To Is he gonna put shooting. force meters? I have several rifles starting from small and going all the way up to very large. Now Ooh. I don't feel like being scope kissed today. So instead I <laughs> have a ballistic dummy Probably like happened zombie before, bus huh? that we will be using as our test subject. I am very excited. I hope he puts force force meters on the on the eyeball or something. About today's video, so let's go get set up and get started. So I have been racking my brain trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to make this work, and this is what I've come up with: a bag of sand. So I he should have done. Uh, he should have done this for uh, Valentine's. Scope kisses. I wanted this zombie bus to be firm, but still have a little bit of give to it. I felt like cinder blocks would be too much, and a sandbag should be just right. So we're going to start out with a 22 long rifle. This is a bolt action rifle. Ooh, I don't think this is going to provide action. a big kiss. Action. It's more of a little smooch. So I'm going to line this rifle up with the zombie bust. I'll be the one pulling the trigger, and we're just going to let the magic happen. Okay. Okay. Had a buddy who needs stitches. I'm not surprised, but it hurts. Okay. That didn't look too so painful. Looks like a 22 long rifle would not be too bad to be kissed by. We don't have a lot of damage here. So yeah. now we're going to move on to a bigger caliber. Yeah, so it was a little smooch, like a little. Look at a little. Two to two, two, three. I have an Ooh. AR 15 here. Let's see Ooh. what this does. All right. That one's going to maybe a little bit be a stinger. That would sting. Oh. I think you would have felt that one. Oh, yeah. That would have stung. That can cut. That probably caused a cut. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a rather big spooch. Ouch. So there's not really any marks on our zombie bust, but the no. slow-mo shows that a 223 would definitely kiss you a lot harder than a 22 long rifle. <laughs> so now we are gonna step it up to a bolt action 308. This is quite a bit bigger than 223 and should produce no recoil. These are some Underwood ammo, 175 grain oh. control chaos, by the way. I learned so much about guns from Fallout without actually owning a gun when I was a kid. I heard, I learned, like, but the only things I learned were basically from Fallout. I was like 10. I was a little kid. <laughs> I think that this may leave a mark. All right. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, 
that's some damage. Even more from my man, Kentucky Bull really? 6. Yes, of course. Definitely be kicking more than the 223. Uh, we have visible marks now. Um, that's even cracked a little bit. That cracked his Ouch. eyebrow and through here. And this is cut. This this around the face, if you crack your bones here, that freaking hurts so bad. Oh my goodness. Oh I'm my. I'm going to say the 308 is pretty good at smooching. So we still have three very large rifles to test out in this video, but before we do, we're gonna try something else. On top of being scope kissed, there's something I like to call being forehead licked. And that is where forehead someone licked. is shooting a very big- Where's your freaking gun a dog? Handgun does not have a very good grip on it. They do not have their arms straight. And then you fucking flip it back. Bumper. Get out of that lens. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, they are not hanging on to that hand. <laughs> and when it goes off, it comes back and hits them in the face. So now we are going to try out a few handguns and see what that would look like. You know, getting scope kissed is not very awesome, but you know what is awesome? Today's sponsor, Vanish Holsters. And I'm very wow. excited to announce that Vanish Holsters is doing one of the biggest giveaways that I've ever had the pleasure wow. of having on this Wow. One of you is going to get a brand new, fully customized Chevy Silverado Trail. Oh, it's a Chevy. Oh. I love uh. this thing. <laughs> Not the man. Fuck. Not the a holster. The Vanish holster is the most comfortable holster. Well, that's I a have nice holster, worn. though. It is made of premium materials. That looks like a nice holster. You can keep the car, though. Can I get more holsters? It enhances your everyday carry. I want a booba holster. And it is very booba. versatile. Ah, it booba. works with 99% of all modern handguns, carries two additional magazines, and works in a variety of carry configurations. So about this giveaway, all you have to do is click my link in the description down below and pick yourself up the most comfortable holster you have ever worn. And that a money back guarantee. And on top of that, Vanish Holsters is hooking you up right now with $50 off the retail price when you use my special link. So you're getting an exclusive discount and you're getting extra entries to the giveaway when you use my link. I can be your holster. So be sure and check out can we ban that guy? For a few weeks. Again, a big thank you to Vanish Holsters for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. Wow! The cool guy right here is one of my favorite hand cannons. This is a Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan 454 Casul with a two and a half inch barrel. It is very snappy, and if you don't hang on to it, you're definitely going to get forehead licked. Now, this is an under. I feel like I would get forehead licked if I shot that. Ammo, 300 grain jacketed hollow point. Okay. I am very curious jacketed, nice. to see what happens. So I've put some thought into this, mm -hmm. and I feel like this is the best way to do it. I'm gonna get down behind the zombie <laughs> bus. I'll put my hand here on his shoulder, so if he were to fall back, my forearm is all that's gonna hit me. And then I'm just gonna put the gun in front, like I was. Uh oh. Shooting, uh oh. We should get some good forehead action. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. Keep in mind, this guy is crazy strong, too. Like, look at his forceps and his biceps. He's doing this with one hand on this gun, and he's doing this for a demonstration. He's not, he's probably trying to hold it. He let it slide. I know, but a little bit. Like he's not. He still has to well, hold on to the gun. Would have felt that one. We have us a new mark here, and I believe that's from our front sight. It Ooh. damaged all of this above his eyebrow. This next hand cannon I have is one that I have uh -oh. seen on the internet a lot, slapping people in the foreheads, and that is a Desert Eagle. This Ooh. is my magnum. Ooh, a deagle. <laughs> Chat, I want a deagle, but I don't want to get forehead kiss. Chat. Chat, can I get a custom deagle? With like a Smugglana Itasha? I don't want to get forehead kissed. Desert Eagle chambered in 50 AE. Very impractical, but it looks nice, man. Yo, chat, I'm touching a deagle right now. 50 AE, Underwood ammo, 300 grain, full metal jacks. Let's see how good this thing is at licking four heads. <laughs> Very good. Oh, oh, you get clocked in the fucking. 
Can you imagine? Oh my god, you could bite your tongue off like that. What if you're talking and then you fucking shoot it like that? And kabooey. Oh, that would that would hurt so bad. Yeah, you can slice your own tongue off like that. Oof. Oof. Yeah, the anti yep gun. So it appears our slide came back and hit the zombie bust in Yikes. the chin and kind of prevented it from coming up and slapping him <laughs> in the face. Now that still would have hurt really bad, but we're going to take one more try. Oh. Yeah, I'd say that got it. It's so cool, though. I know it's not very practical, but damn, it looks cool. So it looks like we had a much better result that time. We got smacked right in the face. I don't see any new damage, but the slow-mo camera definitely showed that that would not feel nice. But I have one more hand cannon that's slightly bigger than that one to try out. Bigger than a deagle? 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, the biggest Ooh, production hand cannon in the world. Ooh, a Magnum! A Magnum Dong chat! Look at it! Wow! Just a wow! Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum with an 8 Magnum and Dong. inch barrel. And I've seen lots of videos of this thing licking- Yeah, Chad, don't give me this one. I'm gonna get definitely get brain damage from hitting that in my face. ...people's foreheads. And we're gonna see if we can recreate that. And I'm gonna be using some Underwood ammo, Kentucky Ballistics, 600 grain hard cast. You think that Kentucky Ballistics would one day sponsor me? I could, like, work out a deal with them. Ah, right ah, there, ah, shoot VTuber guns! Oh my god, wait! idea brainstorm kentucky ballistics i sponsored them to make a video about vtuber guns and then he shoots them <gasps> on his range oh my god oh my god that'd be so sick and then we make like ones that match the personalities of the girls yeah, like make like a cute like a like a like a bow has like a double barrel or something. Yeah. Oh, the bl <laughs> blowhole blaster. Yeah, the blowhole bl <laughs> blowhole blaster. Oh my god, did and that is so like why a double barrel? Because she has the double model. Do you get it? Oh, a bow barrel! That's a good one! Yeah, that's a good idea, too. But my idea was uh, for bow because she has two models. She has the um, yandere one and then the, the, the cute one. <laughs> Pretty good, but before I give this zombie bust a new forehead tattoo, if you're enjoying this content, hit that subscribe good idea. button. And here we go. Ooh. Oh my goodness! Damn, look at that! Oh, that would take out your teeth 100%. Well, after she got her dent from a forehead kiss from the blowhole blaster. What the will blowhole blast your fucking mouth? The slow mo footage, it looks like you would not have a new. She likes revolvers? Okay, that, but I can have a pink revolver. A dentist to visit. It seems that Yikes. this rear sight. Smacked him in the mouth and uh, you can see all this in here. It's pretty broken. He's got some some broken teeth. Yeah, that's to show you that Yuck. if you are not very experienced with handguns, you definitely want to be extra safe when you try out your first hand cannon. Otherwise, you may look kind of goofy afterwards. So now we are going to transition mm -hmm. back to rifles, and boy, are they some big ones. The 308 did quite a bit of damage to our zombie bus, but I think this one is going to do a little more. This is my Savage 338 Lapua bolt action rifle. And as you can see here, 338 Lapua is no tiny round. Oh my oh, god. This is going to be gnarly. Oh shit, look at that thing. Uh, You're gonna lose your eye, man. Oh. Yikes. Oh yeah. She be kissing. Ow. Oh. Let's have a little look at our zombie bust here. Uh, yeah, his nose. That's a black eye for sure. 
That's a broken orbital? Yeah, this entire orbital bone is probably fucked. This is chipped. And this is all nice and broken. Uh, ah, uh, I would say uh, that after that, you may be a little gun shot. Uh, you also may be investing in an eye patch. So the 338 Lapua was not playing around, but when it comes to recoil, I think this next Bots. gun has it beat. Get his ass. This is my CZ 550 <laughs> Safari 505 Gibbs. This gun is not necessarily very heavy, but it's producing a lot of energy. This is the 505 Gibbs. This is a 600 grain jacket of soft point, and this thing is going to be producing a lot of recoil. Ooh. Beautiful. Oh, okay, let's get this thing lined up. I don't know if this one will okay, do more damage right than the there. other one. Oh, oh wait, look at that recoil yep. though. 505 Gibbs. Definitely be never, kissing. Never mind. <laughs> oh. Holy. Holy cow. Oh my gosh! Yo, that's crazy. Jeez! Look at the scope. There are bits of bone on this scope. Take this with a grain of salt because I've never actually been on a safari hunt, but I don't think that scopes belong on rifles that produce this much recoil. Because yeah, that'll fuck up your face. I don't know. Of that. I don't want anything near my face that is producing that much recoil. I'm sure all mm -hmm. the guys on the Safari forums are really gonna rip me apart for that one. I know they love me. So our <laughs> last right- I don't get the lore. Do people from Safari uh, Hunters don't like him? <laughs> is, that a, is that some lore I uncovered just now? I need to get into the Kentucky Ballistics-like universe. ...is a gun that I have personally been kissed by Oh, the thing that exploded his face, damn. This is a Serbu. That's a cool scar, though, not gonna lie. 50, 50 BMG, and when it comes to 50 BMGs, this is pretty darn light. And this one in particular does not have a muzzle break, so I feel like this Err. is the best chance at delivering the biggest, wettest, fattest scope kiss that we possibly can. You're gonna stand back for that one, right? You're not gonna hold it. <laughs> Please, though, I don't want to get hurt. So now we are going to create the worst scope kiss possible. The only thing that I think would be worse than this is a 950 JDJ scope kiss, but I did not want to risk ruining that scope. So this is what we got today. More 950. Yeah, he's videos got a, he's got a though, rope. So stay he's, tuned. Yeah. If not subscribe, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> so our setup now is slightly different than what we've been using. We were using a sandbag, so it had a little bit of give. But this time we're not doing that. I have two cinder blocks and a lead bag. He's on the sandbag here at a slight angle with that scope very close, but we still got a little bit of space so we can really punch him in the face. And now I'm going to pull that hammer back and uh, pull a string. 50 I don't blame him. Coming in three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, you are losing an eye and a brain after that. That's a brain hemorrhage right there. I realized that that didn't just completely fall off the table. That was quite a bit of recoil. It's good. Mamma mia. Scope, surprisingly, still looks good. Uh, it's not moving. Come on. Nope. All right. That's, That's terrifying. I'll get that out later. Let's take a look at our. I'm still astounded that he survived. That thing, that thing exploded on him. The zombie torso here. He's not looking too good. Um, his skull is- One shot, two kills. Yeah, you're killing yourself and that fucking, the target. It's fractured. Yeah. This whole yeah. Face feels kind of loose also. This is all broken. His orbital bone, all of that is just shattered. Oh my goodness. Ouch. Golly. Dash. And then granted yes, there was damage on it before. Skull is fractured. 
Now, this is a little bit of an exaggeration. Now, his skull is cracked, and uh, he's just absolutely mangled. I don't think a 50 BMG scope kiss would be Max! this bad, because most likely the back of your head would not be pressed up against cinder blocks. But I would say if you were too close to a 50 BMG scope and that gun went off, you definitely would be needing a makeover and insurance <laughs> and potentially a glass eye. So what did we learn today? Well, I know personally, I learned that scope placement is very important. And so is your face placement. I think it goes without saying that before you shoot a rifle with a scope on it, you definitely need to make sure there is a proper distance between your eyeball and the back of that scope. Otherwise, we're misfiring in the chat as well. <laughs> almost got banned, sweet. Hey, apologize to him, Caius. <laughs> You may end up looking like this guy. Oh, oh my God! Oh. He's going crazy. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, he's sure having fun. Like and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check me out on all social media platforms. Links to those are in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, Kentucky Scott. Ballistics. I'll see you next time. I need someone to do this to me. Just, just kill me. The crowbar. I think I like that crowbar. Huh? <laughs> what? What? Poor table? Yeah, poor table. Da -da -da -ba -dum -bum. No death for you. You are going to live till 80 and like it. Man, I don't want to live to 80, man. That's old, Aja. But don't boom. Bee 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 oh bee oh. Oh wow, just a wow. That was so good. Oh wow. What a good video. Scope kisses. Oh, yeah.